One out of every three people will be a victim of domestic abuse or sexual assault in their lifetime, and that number may actually be higher since many cases of domestic violence go unreported. So one organization in Canyon County has what they call an outrageous goal to stop domestic violence for good in our communities, and they are working night and day to get it done. My parents were in a uh, relationship that was toxic, mostly because my father was the was uh, the abuser, uh, my mother being the victim. Growing up, Laura Diaz saw and experienced more than any child should ever have to. Particularly, I remember a, a situation where my dad had uh, beaten my sister and I so badly that in the middle of summer we went to school with long sleeve shirts and thick jeans, uh, pants, anything to cover those bruises. Diaz, now in her 20s, grew up with an aggressive and abusive father. He was just an angry person. Angry person. Yeah. And most of that anger was directed at Diaz's mother. Over the years, the violence escalated until just two years ago. Diaz's mother lost her life at the hands of Diaz's father. Who could do such a thing, especially a father? We were heartbroken. We had just lost the rock of our family, the rock of our lives, um, the person we would turn to for for anything. That's when Diaz found Advocates Against Family Violence, or AAFV. The Canyon County based nonprofit has an incredibly ambitious goal eliminate violence. Like period, end of sentence. Kimberly Dugan is AAFV's executive director. She's fully aware of the monumental task ahead of her since the roots of domestic violence run deep. You don't just wake up one morning and decide to be an offender. You don't just wake up one morning and decide, I think I want to be in this relationship because I want to be a victim. You, it's generations deep and it's what they've been taught. To accomplish what Dugan calls their bodacious mission, AAFV operates nearly 20 different services for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault from their campus in Caldwell. They offer a low income housing program, a daycare, classes for victims and their loved ones, and most importantly, a 24 seven emergency shelter called Hope's Door. Any emergency situation, 24 seven, 365, if you've been victimized by domestic domestic abuse and sexual assault and you have nowhere else to go, Hope Story is your place. While Dugan admits she may not see an end to domestic violence in her lifetime, she has no doubt that her gigantic goal is attainable. But both she and Diaz say it will take all of us to put an end to this dangerous cycle. Domestic violence is not a family matter. It's a social issue. We definitely need to do um, social change, make social change shifts. Our mission states that we're, we work to eliminate violence. You only can truly eliminate something if you're preventing it from happening to begin with. All right, and AAFV also created a teen outreach program that they take into local high schools, hoping to stop that cycle of violence before it can start. This last year alone, they reached 11,000 kids with their healthy relationship curriculum. Now, if you or someone you know is in need of help, or if you'd like to support the great work that Advocates is doing in Canyon County, you can find their contact information at sixonyourside.com. Really good organization, great heart for the community.